Okay, this is like the third time I've tried to do this video. I'm just having so many issues. Um, mostly because this is a new camera and I don't know how to use it. And there's noise everywhere. I was trying to do this outside, but there are too many cars on my busy street. So anyways, I'm going to make this really quick because I'm so sick of trying to make a video after all this. I'm just done. I'm ready to be done. But I needed to update everybody on YouTube who has not been updated. Wow, that didn't make any sense. Anyways, I went back to the hospital for a few days um, the other day. So I just got back. Um, I was having a bit of a flare-up. They said, if XYZ happens, come in. So I went into the ER. I think it was Friday. I spent like 12 hours there. And then they admitted me to a room. Yay. Um, turns out, all of the... Uh, everything was a false alarm. As far as things that needed to be checked out. They ran all their tests, and everything was negative. They gave me a round of solumedrol, so that was nice. I wanted that. I'd been asking for that forever. I came into the hospital in a wheelchair, barely able to move, and I left walking on my own two feet in two and a half days. I'd even finished the solumedrol, and that's how well it helped me, which is what I tried and tried and tried to tell my doctors. It took me two months of rehab to do what two days of steroids did for me, so I... I was happy, but I was kind of pissed at the same time, because it's like, I told you so is like my life story. Um, here are, here's a few of the symptoms I was dealing with, and still am. They don't seem to be going away. They're not as bad, like right now, probably since I just had all the steroids. But um, I was really dizzy. I don't know, if, I can't remember what I mentioned before. But my vertigo was just out of control. And it got better for a couple of days, but now it's starting to come back. Everything's spinning, so that makes walking really hard. Um, my fine motor skills. I have fine motor skills, but I can't feel my hands. It's like a pins and needles sensation, like they're full of sand or something. So, yeah, I can do that, but I can't type. And I am not even going to try to play piano. Well, maybe, but not right now. Not in front of the camera. No. Um, so my hands suck. Dizziness sucks. My gait is horrible. And that's a combination of everything is spinning, so I can't see straight. Um, and it's a combination of I just have not used my legs in a while. Because I just got out of rehab right before the second flare-up. And um, I was starting to do okay with the walking. But then that... This last flare-up really sent me back again. Um, and there's a fly in here, and it is really getting on my nerves. I'm trying to stay calm, I'm trying to stay calm. So, right now I look like I'm drunk when I walk. Um, numbness in the hands, kind of went over that. The MS hug, I have been dealing with that for weeks, and I am so over it. It's not as painful as I remember it being the first time, and maybe that's just because I'm used to all these new pains and weird sensations, or maybe it's just not that bad, I don't know. But it's bad enough that my stomach and my chest are so tight that I can feel it wanting to make me like either bend back too far or bend, bend forward too far. My speech is slurred too. I'm trying so hard to speak normally, but it feels... It literally feels like I have marbles in my mouth. Um, they didn't really start me on any new medication. After bugging my neurologist over and over, she finally agreed that Copaxone wasn't doing anything for me, like I said, and that I should try Rebif, like I said. And hey, look, the steroid treatment that I said I needed, it worked. Wow, and I'm not even a doctor. Sorry. It's a really bitter subject for me. So, not really any new medications. I'm supposed to start the Rebif soon. I like ordered it like two months ago and it's still not here. 
I don't have any faith in that medication. I don't think that typical disease modifying medications are going to do anything for me because of how far my disease has progressed in this like short of amount of time. Blah, 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 blah. Can't talk. But um, so what I'm like really trying to get into is the stem cell thing. I know a few people who have done it and they had really good results. Um, so I'm going to try to do it in Panama because they don't do it here in the States. My friend Judy did it or has been doing it in Panama and her results are just amazing. And I know there's a 60% chance that it will work for, you know, any particular patient, but that's better than like the 30% chance of simply reducing a flare up or reducing the amount of flare ups you have in one year after like 10 years of continu continuous use of the drug. I can't talk. So anyways, I'm trying to get that all started. I have a fundraiser page. There should be a link somewhere below if you're on YouTube. If you're on my blog, I don't know where it'll be yet. I'm still trying to get my blog situated and organized and updated and integrated with all the uh, donation, no, what's the word, the fundraiser stuff. Um, so it's been rather frustrating. Um, I had some other stuff I was going to talk about, but I want to like get off this camera already. Um, so I'm going to pretty much leave it at that. I will say that I don't regret going into the hospital. I met some awesome people and it, it just, I learned a lot from this day. Um, I was only there for like three days, but man, I, I feel like I learned way more than I did like for the two months that I was in the hospital last time, which could be because I wasn't really mentally coherent at that point, but I don't know. I'm, I'm glad I went because things have turned around. I see things differently now. So yeah, I'll talk about everything in detail later. I just wanted to do a quick update because I know I haven't done one in a while um, and I need to try to figure out how to work this camera which looks like it's still recording because the second time I sat here and did like a whole 10 minute thing and it didn't record anything. First time I tried doing it outside and it was just too loud. So this time better work because I'm about to give up, but whatever. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. You know, I'll always respond as quickly as humanly possible. And yeah, I think that's it. So I will talk to you later. Bye.